Hey everybody! Today we're going to be making some vegan buffalo cauliflower steaks. They can be as spicy or as mild as you wish. So let's get cooking. So we washed our cauliflower and dried it and I'm just going to cut out the stem here. You don't want to cut too deep because we want to get those uh, steak pieces. But even if they don't turn out perfectly, that's uh, no problem. It's still going to taste good. So we want to just create some slices. Mainly towards the middle, you'll find that that's where the, the best pieces are going to be. So the middle pieces are going to be more intact than the end pieces, but that's fine. The other ones can be bites. We're going to want a half a cup of flour. All purpose flour is fine, but um, well right now I, I just have a little bit left of the gluten-free flour. So I'm going to use that up. Trying to use up all the uh, wheat products before Passover, it's approaching soon, so. <laughs> and we have some white rice flour that we'll just top that up with. You can use regular flour, this is just what I have. And we're going to use two teaspoons of garlic powder. You're welcome to use finely chopped garlic as well. It will just have a different effect than the, the powdered form of garlic. And one teaspoon of paprika. Himalayan salt, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. I'm not going to measure exactly, I'm just going to do my thing. And we have a half cup of water here. So I'm just going to mix their batter up. Okay, so we got our hot sauce mixture. I mixed a whole bunch of different types of hot sauces. This uh, suffering sauce here is uh, very dangerous, so you can only use you, you should only use it one drop at a time. Has a warning there. <laughs> I use some milder hot sauces, a medium. Well, this one is pretty spicy. So then, um, because I want it to be okay for my husband, I uh, added a bit of ketchup. And you can also uh, feel free to add your own condiments in the mix too. Use your own creativity. So I didn't add a full half cup because I don't believe we'll need that. And then... So I ran out of um, the vegan butter, so I'm I'm using grapeseed grapeseed oil here. So what I'm going to do is just uh, 
pour a couple of tablespoons in. Yeah, there we go. And this recipe also calls for lemon juice, but since I don't have that on hand, I'm just going to use some apple cider vinegar and it's a half tablespoon, so I'm just going to eyeball this. Give it a mix. We got our hot sauce, oil, and uh, vinegar in there. Put it back aside. So first of all, we're going to batter our cauliflower. Place it over on our baking sheet. Parchment lined baking sheet. While we were doing all this prep work, our oven is being preheated to 450. We put our uh, battered cauliflower in the oven and it's going to be in there for 20 to 25 minutes. And then we're going to coat it with our hot sauce mixture. So we have um, our hot sauce mixture here and a brush. And we're just going to brush it over our baked cauliflower and we'll flip them over and do the same on the other side. I didn't use the entire cauliflower. I'm uh, gonna use that for something else. And we're going to put this in the oven for about 10 or 15 minutes. So our cauliflower is now in the oven for about 15 minutes or so and we'll see how it turns out. So now we're going to take out our cauliflower. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? And what you can do with this uh, great recipe is you can top it with the, the vegan ranch dressing. Vegan ranch dressing would be an excellent choice to go with this uh, buffalo cauliflower. You can have some carrot sticks, you can have some celery, you can have rice with lentils or rice with beans and a nice salad. So just a couple of ideas of what could go with uh, this particular uh, recipe.